All right, so you got your first signing ready to go to send off to CGC, and you've read about this window bag thing, and you're wondering, what's a window bag? How do I make a window bag? You go on CGC's website. They tell you they can ship it to you. They can send you all the window bags you want, but you got to get this shipped tomorrow because you didn't pay attention to the signing, and now you're at the deadline. It'll never make it in time. What do you do? Well, first and foremost, you never have to buy window bags. They're very easy to make, very cheap to make. You can do it on your own. We'll go through it step by step, take you about five minutes through this video, and you'll see how easy it is to do yourself with simple household items that probably every collector out there has or can get with five to $10. First and foremost, you're gonna need some painter's tape, right? Masking tape, but painter's tape very specifically, something that if you happen to stick it on a comic would peel off very easy without damaging it. This is very important. There's several types of masking tape. This blue painter style tape I find works the best. You can search for you and find out what works for you. This is what I recommend though. A razor or something to cut. You can use scissors, but really a straight razor box cutter works the best. You're gonna need a Sharpie or a marker of some sort to give yourself a frame of reference when you're cutting these squares. You'll see how we use that later. You could technically use a washable one, but that gets a little sketchy when you're putting it on paper next to your books. I'll show you how I do it, and you can go from there and choose what you want to do for you. Bags and boards. You're going to need double the bags for the number of comics. Each comic will need two bags. Each comic will only need one board. You are going to need one extra board for cutting, though, and you'll see why shortly. Last but not least, you're going to need your paperwork. This paperwork is what you print off from CGC when you put in your order for a signature series signing that you're shipping out to them for. The big important part of this is there are two pages to this, right? There's a first page. This is the packing slip that you print. Here's the first page, right? On the second page, the important part of there's these little squares that you have to cut out. These little squares go behind your backing board, right? On the back side of the comic. They face outward so they can be read through the bag. It's very important to do this. This is a very, very important step. If you forget this, you may not get the signature you want the way you wanted it or the sketch or remark that you were asking for. Please, please, please remember this portion. This is very important. Let's get to making the window bag and you can see how easy it is and save yourself a whole lot of time and headache in the future. So first things first, you take your comic. What I'm gonna do on this bag is I'm gonna make a mark. I'm going to send this book in for Mirka and Dolfo to do a full bust sketch on this. What I'm going to do first is mark out some borders for where I want the sketch to be. This one's really easy because it's really the entirety of the cover and she's probably not going to use a window bag. She's probably just going to take it out. But still, just to show you guys how it's done, remember I told you to have an extra backing board. Really important. This is my extra backing board. So I'm going to take out my book. All right, remember that spare backing board? It's back again. It's going to go right inside here. It is now a cutting board. Okay, so now that I've made these marks on the board, the next step is the tape. Some people do the tape first. I don't like the idea of the, the jagged edge of the tape right alongside my book. Kind of bothers me, to be honest. Um, other people do it. I don't like it. This is the way I do it. We're going to take our tape eyeball measure it here and it's gonna go just outside of the marker right it's gonna go right outside of that marker line right bam all right so now we've got our tape on our bag now you take your trusty razor that you got here right and you're going to cut right along that tape. You're going to cut this marked portion off this bag. If you have a nice sharp razor, you usually don't have to put too much tension on this plastic. It cuts very easy. And you just come down all your marks. All right, so now I have a window bag. We're taking out the cutting board. Remember this, take this board out. You're gonna need this for each comic you do. Also, if you've got any marker on it, you don't want that sitting next to your book. Now I've got a comic in a window bag, but I'm not done yet. Little tip I wanna give everyone. Make sure when you print this form from CGC that you print it on two separate pages. If you print it front to back, these little squares that I'm telling you about that you need to cut out, 
and put with your comic, you will end up cutting out of the actual form. I had to print this one twice because I messed it up, and now I need to go cut this form out, this square out of this form. Just a little learning for you to keep in mind. All right, boys and girls, remember I told you you need to cut this little square out, this little tiny square from CGC? You need to make sure you have this before you do anything else. I've had to open whole packages because I forgot this. Use this as a, a box to check on each book. Did I put in the cutout? You're gonna go in the back of the bag, right? Facing out so you can read it through the bag. Very important. They need to be able to see this through the bag or it's useless. And there's a chance when they go to manipulate it, it'll get lost and your order is going to get jacked up. Boom. So now we've got a window bag. We've got a book. We've got our cutout. What's next? Next is another bag. This is a good time to have oversized bags. If you have them, it can be kind of hard, particularly like the Star Wars is so thick. It can be hard to put in a second bag. So now I've got my bag in a window bag, ready to go. I'm gonna do about five more. I'll leave it on. We'll do it through hyperspeed so you can see me speed through them. But they're all gonna be some for remarks. You'll see little squares I'm gonna cut in different places for where I want the signature to go. This one, like I said, was a whole sketch on a whole front cover. So it, this was just cutting out a big piece. I'll let you see the other one so you can kind of see what they look like and we'll circle back at the end here. All right, guys, I have five window bags for five different books that are going in. To answer another question that people ask a lot, can you send multiple orders in one shipment? Yes, you can. You will get three separate packing slips. You need to put all the packing slips in. We, I'm going to put all of these books in the same order. What we have in this, I'll go through it with you. The first Star Wars, I'm going to send for America to do a sketch on. That's one order. I had to pay separate return shipping on that. I'm going to have uh, Simmons do a remark on this. Something is killing the children ash can. I had to pay separate shipping because that's a separate signing. And then this last one, I have three art germs that art germ covers that I want him to sign. These all count as one shipment, one order. I'm gonna, I had to pay return shipping for these three to get shipped back to me together. Uh, we're gonna do this Wonder Girl, this Captain Marvel, and this Mighty Thor. And you can see these because they're just signatures they're not like these other remarks. I've just picked a little square on the cover where I want them to do the signature. Um, so it gives you a good look, different ways to do your window boxes. Very easy, very simple. One thing that some people do say, some people like to cut this tape, right? I put mine right on the edge and then I cut right next to it. Some people like to actually cut through it. They like to do the marker on here and they like to cut the tape. I don't like the idea of that sticky edge of the tape just being a millimeter micron away um, from the actual cover itself. I think it's debatable. Some people think the jagged plastic will damage and scratch your cover. That's six of one, half dozen of the other. I don't think either way is really the right way. Um, I think we're just nerds trying to make excuses for what we do, to be honest with you. But for those of you wondering how to make a window bag, it's this easy. It's this simple. You don't need to spend a ton of money. Again, cutting utensil, tape, comic bags, comic boards, 
and a marker to make your marks with and you're all set. One last thing, if you notice, if you look in that fast forward, I forgot this several times and I had to remind myself to go put this piece in this book. Remember this piece is very important. Your order won't get canceled without it, but your order does go through quicker and easier if you have it, right? It makes it simpler on CGC's end. They're not having to dig through files, figure out what you want, what you were talking about, what you asked for, right? When you do a, a, a signature, you're just getting a SIG, you're gonna get a signature, that's it. When you do a remark, you actually put in there what you want. So on this one, I asked for maybe Erica's face, maybe Octo, maybe both, if he's feeling generous. Um, and on Mirka's, I'm gonna have her do a uh, character who does not appear in this book and who I don't want to say, but I'll show it to you when it gets done because I want it to be a surprise for everyone. That's all I got, guys. This is how to make a window bag. Hope you like this content. If you liked it, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and next time we'll go over how to put it in a box and ship it out because a lot of people seem to want to know that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.